Oh, what's up? This your boy Peanut coming at y'all with another reaction. Now, before we start this right here, let y'all know I react to hip hop music and anime. And today we're reacting to Sensei's new video, Asura's The God Destroyer. Let's get it. Yo, yo, what's good? Ah, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Sensei, hi, uh, Dr. Sensei. I'm just calling you from the front desk, letting you know your next appointment is here to see you. All right, word, word, word. Go ahead, send him back, man, send him back. Uh, yeah, by the way, um, do you have your strap on you? No, First boy. off, pause, what do you mean, my strap on me? Like, what, talking about a gun? Oh, what you talking <laughs> about? Uh, yes, sorry, sorry, sir. Yeah, do you have a, do you have a, uh, what are the kids calling now, a uh, blicky on you? <laughs> I mean, you know, I always, grab the strap! Yo. So, yeah, I got it on me, wow, what's up? Okay, just make it sure, because you might need it for this client. I'm going to be honest. Yo, yo, stop banging on my door like that, son. Like, what's up with you? Come in, bro. What's up? I mean, look, man, I wasn't always angry. You know what I'm saying? But people do stuff to you to make you angry. You feel me? I be feeling like I'm getting the short end of the stick. You know what I'm saying? And, like, a lot of times, motherfuckers be disrespecting me in my entire life and then get mad at me when I get a little mad. It's a long story, man. Full of, you know, betrayal. Just this and this. You know what I'm saying? It's getting smoked. But if you're down to listen, man, I'm down to tell you. I mean, I ain't paying your ass, so you is going to listen to me. Not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, man. I get a little, get a little uptight sometimes, but... All right, bro, I'm down to listen, man. Let me hear. Eight hours later. Lord. All right, Ashra, that was a lot, bro, but let me just run it back just to make sure I got all this right. All right, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, yo, that therapy session was crazy, yo, but the story of Ashra is mad deep. Yo, today we are here to talk about Ashra's wrath, and okay. oh my God, bro, the story of this man, this was the original angry nigga. Y'all like that Kratos video, y'all ran that up to like half a million, bro. So I'ma need y'all to go crazy for this one, because uh... this was Kratos before Kratos. This is the real God smoker, the God... <laughs> Hey man, hitting. I know y'all been wanting more video games. I know y'all been asking me for Dante and Virgil videos from Devil May Cry and all that. If y'all want me to do more video game videos like this one, yo, make sure y'all get this to at least 150,000 views and 15,000 likes, and mm. I got you. There you right, go. First Run off, them yo, up. Run the them lights up. Ashura, there are demigods, there are gods, and there are human beings. Demigods are all cybernetically enhanced. These niggas is out here looking like iRobot candidates. Like, bro, <laughs> these niggas are terminated ass niggas. Somebody get a live action Ashura and get Arnold Schwarzenegger to play this. Nigga. But then you got regular ass humans. Those niggas are just called humans. I mean, I, they ain't even get no special name. I'm gonna be honest. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be calling Earth Gaia because that's what it's called in the game. I don't know why they couldn't just call it Earth. I guess they were trying to sound all, you know, mythological and shit, but that, that's neither near or there. Right. Gaia is Earth. Now, on Earth, these demigods done got together with they cybernetically enhanced ass body parts and brain cells, and they created Shinkoku which is just this big ass advanced world these niggas done made atlantis bro this is the world <laughs> you go to you feel me flying cars cybernetic energy you know everything that you would want iphones that don't overheat you know what i'm saying android phones that have good cameras they got that on shinkoku <laughs> now everything here is not powered by electricity bro this is a world filled with mantra which is just like energy that comes from all living things now i ain't gonna lie that's very important y'all need to remember that i said it comes from all living things including human beings because some bullshit happens later down in this story. Oh, now, in the Shinkoku, there's an emperor, and then there are eight guardian generals. Now, these guardian generals are like, I don't know, these are some Beetleborg ass, niggas, some Power Rangers or something. Like, these niggas are basically the cybernetic demigod demigods. You feel me? They the top of the top. Let's okay. just put it like this. The regular demigods are like ramen noodles. Like, them niggas still hit, and you might <laughs> still smash them shits. You feel me? Yo, that was your pause. But the demigods yes. is like a filet mignon. Them niggas is different. Now, Ashura is the leader of these eight generals. Now, Ashura is the main character of this story, of course. This n is literally the first Kratos, I swear to God. He's just a n that refuses to die because he's angry. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to sue the niggas that made Kratos and God of War because they dead ass just ripped off Ashura's wrath. Now, no disrespect <laughs> to God of War, y'all know I love it, but come on, yo, this is crazy. Anyway, the story starts off with Ashura and the eight generals fighting the Goma. Now, the Goma are these nasty ass things made from, like, bad mom 
mantra. Basically, the best way I can explain this to you is like the bad emotions, the bad feelings that niggas have have created the goma. It's like, you know how like they say bad energy manifests bad energy? Well, right. in this world, the bad energy created some nasty ass demon type bitches. Like, I ain't gonna cap. All of these niggas look like they up to no good. These are the niggas <laughs> that run your pockets. Do not bring your wallet around these niggas. Now, it didn't even matter, though, because they had been fighting the Goma for years. I mean, millenniums. But this one time in particular that was in this game, they was smoking these niggas. They was putting Goma in a pack. Right. It all seemed good, and, like, we was going to win. Viltra appeared. Now, I'm not going to lie. Viltra is basically, like, the Power Ranger version of Goma. You know how we got the eight generals? Well, Viltra is, they're, like, one general. That's just very powerful. He kind of is, like, the equilibrium to the eight generals. You know you got to have a yin and yang. But when this yeah, nigga came right. in, they played Stone Cold music. You knew it was about to be up. It's up and it's stuck with this nigga. <laughs> but the eight generals had a secret power because Ashura's daughter had the power to control and amplify Mantra. This bitch out here basically being a battery pack. She's the Energizer Bunny. Right before they was about He's to get snow, she and just going and going. came all over these niggas. <laughs> Power them up. Got a oh, let me say, hey. As soon as they powered up Ashura, this nigga punched the motherfucking Ventra so hard, that bitch just went back to Earth. It didn't die yet. Keep that in mind, because that's very important for the story, too. But okay. he definitely punched this bitch back in the hiding. It's like a nigga was running his mouth to you in a bar. He rocked his ass, and he just went back to drinking his drink. It was like, oh, don't mind me. I don't even know why I even tried talking crazy to you. So after this, things started getting really wicked, bro. And I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> so they all ended up turning on Ashura because his daughter is so strong. It was like, hold on, listen. Your daughter is mad powerful. We don't already smoke the emperor. You feel me? Ashura walked up the emperor dead on the steps. He laying there lifeless. Nigga looking like a half-used toothpaste bottle. Man just scrunched up on the stairs. Like, look, we don't smoke the emperor. We gonna make your daughter the emperor because she can power us up. But they knew that this man, Ashura, was not going for that. He didn't want his daughter in no bullshit. So they turned nope. on him. The main person that turned on everybody and was controlling the whole factor of these other generals was this Deus. Yo, shout out to my nigga Deus on Twitter. I don't know if he got his name from this nigga, yo, but <laughs> this is a demon. So anyways, they smoked this nigga, bro. Like, they literally smoked this nigga, all of them. And then they kicked him off of Gaia. Like, where was y'all kicking him into the atmosphere? But this nigga refused to die. He an angry that refuses to die. He woke up in this place that's between heaven and hell called Naraka. And this golden spider started talking to him. Now, <laughs> yo, this golden spider, very important too, yo. I hope y'all are taking notes because she's about to come back full circle later. Taking so at notes, this point, taking this nigga notes. was not going. He started climbing up this tower in the rocket to get back to Gaia. It reminded me of when Kratos went to hell and this just climbed through hell to get back to the fucking world. Like, this nigga is different. So he ends up getting back to Gaia, but as soon as he gets there, some Goma show up. But it was some fodder ass nigga, you feel me? It was like Marines in One Piece. Like, this man punished them. Mm -hmm. But then this big, ugly, fat, sloppy Nick Bison showed up. Nick looking like the 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 the, the, the eighth general version of Santa Claus. Like, like <laughs> Nick, you come from the North Pole, big jolly ass nigga, bro. Big, big bowling body ass nigga. Big, 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 big bowling ball built ass nigga. Big, 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 the, big, uh, big. the bullet bill from Mario Brothers looking ass nigga. A womp womp block built ass nigga. <laughs> Sloppy. This man showed up fat as hell talking about he got new powers. The eight generals got new powers. But this man, Ashra, lost all his memories. He don't remember shit. I like to theorize that the cholesterol levels were so high in this interaction from this fat ass nigga that it was blocking the arteries to his brain. But that's just me. <laughs> so then he started thinking about his daughter and fool. his memories started coming back. He just killed his wife. They kidnapped his daughter. Like, I man, these niggas ain't shit. But bro got mad as hell when his memories came back. Started getting the anime power boost. This nigga got his anti boost mid battle. Oh, he was Bro hit this the hardest shit But it didn't even matter bro Cause this got giant Yo and I just thought this couldn't get any fatter It did it happened bro How do you go from morbidly obese What do you even call this Megazord obese This got right. huge so big that he was bigger than Gaia Nigga tried to hit this man Ashra with one finger Bro said Cholesterol divine strike <laughs> Tried to hit this with a finger 
But this nigga powered up because he was so mad and punched this nigga's finger so hard that the fucking finger started blowing up and his whole body disintegrated. That's he hit crazy. this nigga so hard his arms blew off. This nigga is Super Saiyan Shanks. Bro, punched his arms off. Bro, he's a paraplegic now. What's up with you? And can't even beat his me. Anyways, after this, this nigga Yasha shows up, another general, and he starts working this nigga. But this nigga tried to fight Yasha with no arms. Bro, you know you're a fucking smoke demon when you try to fight it and you can't even punch him i was about to fight this nigga like super saiyan 4 gogeta and tenkaichi 3 i'm about to fight like sanji but after this yasha cuts this nigga in half mind. bro but he wakes up again 500 years later refusing to die in naraka oh my god bro at this point the golden spider had a motivational speech i'm gonna translate that for you because it's really boring but i got y'all he was like <clears throat> yo gang gang gang, gang it's gang, your boy go golden spider and his bitch coming straight out of naraka hey listen man you keep getting smoked i'm gonna need you to stop that bro i ain't gonna lie you really Big come guys. in here you feel me you really look like a straight bitch right now you letting all these generals smoke you all of these niggas been punishing you what's up with you bro i'm gonna need you to get your shit together bro get your mantra up you feel me like like you know you know the meme the one piece community be using get your hockey up mm -hmm. oh drag Z, get your kai up no nigga get your mantra up because you getting punished by these niggas. these niggas not even supposed to be fucking with you like that man you know what i'm saying and for real for real i'm not even really a golden spider you just hallucinating from dying so much right now i'm just talking to you in your in your imagination that's how much you get punished he's gonna beat you in the schizophrenia nigga. get your shit together man anyways this nigga done woke up once again bro and he found this bitch that looked like his daughter it's a daughter is that you? You go to this No, uh, <laughs> like she's not his daughter. Anyways, bro landed in a village and Goma came through and smoked the whole village. Bro, how you let fodder smoke you, bro? Y'all got all these people, y'all deep as hell, and you letting the fodder smoke you? Come on, please. I swear to God. That's Anyways, Chenkoku soldiers show up and this old Cairo there talking heavy. This first off, this nigga look old as hell. Bro look like uh the granddad from Jack and Daxter. Like, what's up? With this, man. I'm just he actually like the but grandpa the that led like the Earth Kingdom on uh, Avatar. And so best this friend. Man, was confused as hell. He is pissed at this point, though, but he tells his fake daughter, Yo, fake daughter, I got you. I just got him out the smoke. This is off the word of God. And I ain't gonna lie, he smokes the ships. You know that you're a demon when you're beating ships up. Mm -hmm. Like, you are a humanoid. How the f are you beating a ship? This is his dead friend. Very Anyways, different. while he's doing this, he sees a machine that's turning human souls into mantra. Remember from the beginning of the video? I told you guys that y'all needed to pay attention to the fact that mantra comes from living things, even human beings, he said because that these in the are video. using human beings to make mantra powered cells. These motherfuckers are sucking the mantra out of niggas. Pause, bro. Crazy. I start telling my girl that, yo, instead of suck my soul out, yo, suck the mantra out. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyways, at this point, cool. Kyro tries to escape, but Ashra grabs this nigga's shit and squishes that shit. I was in there begging for his life. And you just see this man Ashra squishing this man's shit. Squish this nigga into nothing. Turn this nigga into a smoothie. Crushed him. Anyways, at this point, Ashra That's flew crazy. into a village. And this nigga August was there. Now, August is the teacher of Ashura. August don't give a f about what's going on with these generals. He just be wanting to fight niggas. We find out from August that Deus wanted to use mantra from humans, the power of war mantra weapon, and rid the world of Goma for good. Okay. You know that's dangerous. That shit called a war weapon. That's my little brother. Shout out to my nigga. You already know. But August don't care about none of that. Like I said, he just wants the hands. So these niggas go to the moon with it. I'm like, this Boruto, what are y'all doing? <laughs> these niggas went to the moon. Nigga got the biggest sword ever, bro. It reminded me of the extendo stick that Goku had. Bro, right. had a 30 clip sword. This sword stretched out mad long. Bro, pulse. He stretched this man Ashra into a whole different atmosphere. But this man Ashra broke the sword and then used it to cut this nigga August. But again, lost his arms. What's up with this nigga losing his arms? This nigga sort of God. But it didn't even matter, yo, because this nigga turned into Zoro, bro. Yup, I was thinking up, that. This man started fighting him with a sword yep. in his mouth. I don't know what happens at this point. There's just this big ass nuke ass explosion. I guess somebody got a nuke in Call of Duty or something, yo, because all I seen was explosions. He ends up getting found later, though. Now, here comes this nasty ass bitch Olga, bro. Oh my God. This bitch Olga, this blonde haired ass bitch, this Aryan looking ass bitch. She show up and kills everybody in the village. 
Even the fake daughter gets smoked. And this is when Asher turns into pain. berserk mode. This nigga got so mad, he turned into a berserk mode. Are you getting new forms when your anger increases? This is a hog. So anyways, this is the shortest, oldest fleet, and she runs Big away. This bitch is like, nope, I'm going to live to be racist another day. <laughs> really did evolve, like I swear to God. Anyways, Asher shows up and Sergey's there. Sergey and Yasha. Now I ain't gonna lie, he smoked Sergey, especially when Sergey admitted to him, "Yo, I'm the one that smoked your wife, bitch ass nigga." And I fucked her before I killed her, bitch ass. I been like years. And then he gets smoked. He squashed this nigga's head, bro. <laughs> Anyways, Asha was still in his berserk state, but Yasha knocked him out of it. He put this nigga in a coma. Mm -hmm. Once again, this man got knocked in a schizophrenia because this man go to scare talking about get mad power up so fast forward this man i'm powered up but we got yasha versus deus going on too i ain't gonna lie deus was getting punished at first yep. but i sure showed up like nah let me smoke this nigga this nigga deus said Fuck that fuse with a temple and became a suicidal deus this nigga <laughs> big as hell this man i sure looked at yasha Yasha looked at Ashra, and they became the brothers of destruction. Because these niggas done teamed up on this nigga. They was like, oh, nah, fuck all that. So they end up getting to the center of the fortress, and they start Let's jumping go. this nigga, bro. He, they turned this nigga to the fight back mean right before our eyes. <laughs> After they put this nigga in a pack, he get his daughter back. But then this man, Ventura, comes back, and oh, my God. But his daughter took the mantra from the temple and gave it to him. Right. And finally, they fight the real version of this bitch. It kind of looks like the Berserk mode of Ashra, which was weird. I don't know if that has any correlation. I know one of y'all dweeb ass needs to tell me in the comments, but that's neither near or there. They smoke her for good. Put her out of her misery. It was like, all right, Victor, you think you fucking funny? You think this is okay? This is the last time you're going to be fighting anybody. I could put you in the infinite pack. The infinite pack he owe me. Pack, but after pack, this, pack, you know, this pack. big ass Aryan ogre swoops in and grabs his daughter up. But it didn't even matter because Golden Spider's here to save the day. But he's not really a good guy. It's, oh, my God. You remember I told you pay attention to the Golden Spider? Yes, you did earlier. Anyways, he did all of this because he's the one true God. And he wanted to look for his next, like, vessel, his person he could pass on his shit to. I don't fucking know. Anyways, I sure tried to fight this nigga and got infinitely smoked, bro. This nigga tried to fight the one above all and got destroyed. Nigga gets sent to Gaia and Yasha went down to challenge him. So him and Yasha had his final fight, bro. They start mixing. No, I ain't gonna lie. Biggie, biggie, biggie. Blicky, blicky, blicky. Mm -hmm. Finally defeats him and Yasha gives him his power cord. And then Ashra powers up using his mantra and he turns into Ashra the Destroyer. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga's different. Not the structure, As they're fighting destroy. him, he started beating this nigga up so bad. He was like, yo, be my successor. How you beat it again and making you a successor? Nigga said, miggy, 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 miggy. Blicky, the pants, though. Bro, this nigga was missing. The pants. No. When he asked to be a successor, though, and then he pushed him into his final form, yo. And I ain't gonna lie, the God's final form went super hard. But then when he's mixing him up and he's about to finish him, he stops for a second because his daughter was like, Dad, if you kill him, all mantra will be gone, which means you're gonna be gone. And he was like, Damn. Man, f dad, it smokes this shit anyway. Yeah. This man is the worst dad ever. <laughs> Left his daughter with no family. Like, nah, I love you, but I gotta mantra. go. So what the f what is she supposed to do? This lonely as hell now. Like, maybe she'll become a god somehow and, like, restart life. I, I don't know, bro. Just smoke somebody and fade it away. So mad. He said, F it, I'm about to kill myself. Leave my daughter alone. This is just what I want to do. Damn. I like to do bad things. I like to do bad things. Yo, I sure <laughs> crazy. And, and, oh, my God. This story is insane. I swear to God, this nigga different. All right, Ashura. So that about right. sums it up, right? Just wanted to make sure I got everything right. I mean, yeah, you got most things right, you know what I'm saying? I don't like how you try to say I was a bad dad at the end, you know what I'm saying? But, man, I got a question. If I faded away and I died, how am I here right now in this therapy session? Uh, I don't know, Ashura. Maybe the game creator should give you a fucking sequel! Facts. All right, y'all, that was... My reaction to Sensei's new video, Asura the God Destroyer. Now, I got to let y'all know, I did play the game when it came out a while back. It is an amazing game, visually pleasing, everything. Y'all should check it out. And on that note, I'm out of here. Peace.